What hope can you give people in retired years that are being scammed? What, mm-hmm. what, what, what's the FBI doing and what hope can you give them? And what's the warning to people that do cyber attacks in general? Where I see it affecting mostly our, our older adults is in the area of actually cyber frauds or cyber scams. Roughly 40% of the, of the complaints that come into the Philadelphia FBI office on a daily basis involve some kind of Internet fraud or some kind of scam um, that typically will target older Americans that are looking to try and get access to you know, their, their retirement incomes. And whether that's an, an email phishing scam where it says that uh, your, your identity has been compromised or your credentials to this, this website have been compromised, click on this link here or whether it's some kind of Ponzi scheme, uh, which is perpetrated through the use of the Internet or emails. Uh, we see a lot of people who receive a notification that they've won something. The FBI does host a website, uh, which is uh, www.looks2goodtobetrue, all one word, dot com. And we have up there uh, dozens and dozens of the different common fraud schemes that people can kind of take a look at, whether it's an auction fraud, some kind of financial fraud, work from home frauds, things that involving uh, identity theft, um, pharmacy fraud as well. People looking to get low cost access to pharmaceuticals may be uh, attracted to uh, websites that look to sell uh, pharmaceuticals at, at unreasonably low costs. Um, the concerns there is the possibility of counterfeit pharmaceuticals coming from foreign countries, pharmaceuticals being given out without prescription. So a lot of that information looks too good to be true.com. We have, uh, we have featured up on that website. Um, you never want to be sending money via, via, you know, an escrow system like a Western Union, because once that money's gone out of your account, it's, it's gone for good.